Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on timecode. So you might have seen the first video where I taught you about how to set up timecode. And this is what happens when you bring your DSLR or camera into Premiere Pro and how to get the sequence set up really quickly. So I've got two cameras here just to keep it simple. And the first camera is just an overall shot of the presentation. And then the Sony a6300 is a just, I picked up the gimbal and just filmed a few shots every once in a while. To create a multi-camera sequence, we want to put all the cameras in the same folder. So I'm just going to do this here, drop this main camera in the folder with all the other shots from the other camera. And now what we want to do is drop it into list view and just click on one, hold control and click A and right click and say create multi-camera source sequence and you click on time code and click OK and then it'll just say there's things recorded outside of that time, that's OK. Now right click, you'll see this is a new sequence, the multi-camera sequence that's been created, right click on this and say open in timeline and then you'll look at it and you go whoa what is going on here, there is videos on all different tracks like how am I supposed to do a multi-camera edit of this when all these clips are on all the different tracks and this is just me hitting record every once in a while on the Sony a6300 so this is not the best way to go about it so let's go back to where we were undo undo okay so what you want to do is add a label to each camera and to add a label you want to once you're in list view scroll all the way across and right click and metadata display and then we want to type in camera label select that click OK now you'll see there is a camera label and this is our main presentation shot so I'm just going to label this as camera 1 and we're going to do the same in our other camera so here we have the same thing and the camera label have already en enabled it and you will notice that you can't just highlight all of them and just label two it won't let you do it so you have to either two enter two enter two enter or two tab two tab etc uh, which is quite annoying if you've got lots and lots of times that you've done that so let's take it back so the shortcut way to label all of these at once is to use meta logging yes that tab that you never click on so what we're doing here is right click on metadata, metadata display, same thing, camera, label, tick that box. Okay, now we want to use the scroll until we find camera label which is there and this is grayed out because we haven't selected any clips. So let's go to our other camera here and then left click on one, control A to highlight everything and let's scroll over to where we're working on and let's just label it as camera two. And there we go, look, it did it all for us. So now they're all labeled up. Now let's go back to the editing tab and drop in our primary camera into the same folder. So we have all the clips in the same folder and then we can just uh, control A to highlight everything, right click and back to our create multi-camera source sequence click time code and click create multi-camera source sequence and then choose by camera label and this is going to listen to what we said before so it's going to put them on all the tracks that we need so when we open in timeline you'll see that the times that I've hit record on my gimbal wide camera roaming around the room uh, it now goes to the correct position in the sequence And you can see these outliers here. This is just, just other shots that I was filming outside of the actual event. And that's what time code is. It's the one long sequence and all the cameras on the timeline. So this is how you sync multiple cameras using time code. It's especially useful if you're starting and stopping cameras and you're in different rooms and you're coming in and where audio might not be able to be picked up or you forgot to somehow raise the audio up high enough for it to do an audio sync correctly. Now I have found a bit of a problem with using 50 frames per second on one camera and 25 frames per second on another camera where it's kind of gone out of sync after some time. Either that or you have to use the same cameras which is kind of annoying. So I'll investigate this a little bit further. So I hope you found this time code tutorial useful. I know that I had to search through forums to find this information. Uh, so hopefully it helps you out and uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to find out more of this kind of tutorials and I look forward to catching you in the next video. Have a great day.